Good morning. How you doing this morning? This is Keith Neal, the creativity coach for Morning Cup of Keith. And this is uh, continuing common fears and talking about fear of success. Now, when I hear that, the first thought that comes to mind is, um, you know, it sounds odd, you know, would you there's so many people that are chasing after success and they're just hungry for it. And then there's some of us that are afraid, you know, it's fearful. It's like, it's, you know, some owners may fear that they will, their concept will grow too big for them to handle. Again, it's one of those things where you're assuming before you get there and Something I, that I talked about on the last video is just, it's like when we think too far ahead is when we can become into the web of fear. And <clears throat> in this case, fear and success. It's like, oh, it's going to grow too big. Well, I mean, is it? I mean, you don't want to have any doubts about your business, but what if you brought yourself into your present moment? where you're at right now and you're focusing <clears throat> on that um you know you're not going to have to worry about oh no it's too big to handle you'll be able to figure once it comes to that point once you get to that point where oh it's big you'll have your plan in place so we're all going to experience challenges of that path of success and sometimes success can come with a significant burden i mean let's say you've planned a product out and it's exploded and it's so big that you don't have, you, you didn't make enough of the product, you ran out. Now you gotta take and turn that around, what do you do? So that can be fearful when there's just, you didn't make enough. There's a great example of this lady who she, um, would make these, I think they were like yarn dolls or some type of thing like that. And um, the problem that she experienced was she'd make a bunch and then there'd be a whole bunch more orders for her, for these dolls. And she goes, okay, well, I'll handle that. I'll bring the price up. And then even more, it multiplied. Even though the price was up, it, it was like, it was giving people an idea of, oh, these are really valuable. I need to buy them. And she brought her price up again, thinking that it would reduce the number of people buying and more people buy. And to the point where she had to like then delegate, she had to hire people in order to um, help her handle that. And so building a healthy relationship with success by trusting your ability to uh, to build your business and ability to delegate are, are just some keys for you to understand. So it may appear that you um, that some firms are achieving sudden success, and they may have they be function under the radar. Really, they're functioning on, uh, by allowing other founders um, plenty of time to adjust. Um, they're functioning with other people. And so under the radar, um, they're allowing, this is helping those founders be able to adjust their very degrees of success. I really kind of stumbled all over that one. Um, what I mean by that is what you don't see is the planning team. And so you're the founder, <clears throat> but you've already went ahead and you've already calculated that, hey, this is this could happen and this could come up and now we're ready and then you have a team that is going to be able to adjust to those degrees those levels you go up you go up you go up and they're able to then adjust for them like that lady with the arendelle business had to do is she had to um you know add people to her business she was just doing it on her own and then realized it got too big and too popular for her to just do all of that work on her own. It took, took over her life. And so she had to um, uh, parse out the it out and 
you know, pay employees at that point. And so things like that, you know, I can understand where people can be very fear fearful. Um, it's like, oh, it's too big. It just got too big for me. And I see a lot of big businesses do the same thing where it gets so big and they start to lose it and they start to not be able to communicate with each other. And so it, it can be fearful. But if you fear too far ahead, you may just shut yourself down and not run your business at all and might run it into the ground without really, really realizing it. So what you really want to do is, is, is be able to have that ability to not just build your business, but to delegate to. All right. Thanks for watching. Um, and, um, I keep forgetting. I usually put these at the end, but I should be putting these at the beginning. But um, please um, subscribe and please like and share. And if you have any questions, reach out to me. And um, I'll put a link in the in, uh, comments here so that you can always reach out to me in, in Facebook Messenger. Um, and if you ever have any suggestions on upcoming topics, please let me know. I would love to um, then be able to get the time to research it and bring it, uh, bring it to, out to the video format here. All right. Thanks for watching. Have a great rest of your day, and I'll see you again uh, tomorrow.